boost your boost your aura and get glowing with this crystal inspired holographic peel off mask this iridescent mask infused with amethyst amethyst hydrates and calm skin for a luminous complexion perfect for dry skin definitely need that uh, apply an even layer to clean dry face avoiding eyes eyebrows and hairline i always get it in my eyebrows gently peel off from outer edges and rinse with warm water use twice a week I'll wash my face in a minute. <laughs> what are you looking at? Oh, the wood? Mm -hmm. Hello. I'm blue. While I'm in here, I'm blue because of these LED lights that Mike has to have in here because they last all like forever. <laughs> You've been cleaning today. You've been a busy girl. I'm sitting here with Maddie. He's live. You gonna do a mask with us? Mm -mm. No red light right now. Nope. You have a mask upstairs, a men's one. Nope, no red light. <laughs> right now it's blue. <laughs> you haven't been busy? I thought you were cleaning today. Well, I know you took a nap. Tiffany said hello. Hi. Say hi real loud. Hi. <laughs> I didn't even know. Kayla. Hello. I haven't washed my face yet. Sorry, I look like a smurf. It's because I'm in here in the kitchen under these blue lights. Um, but after I wash my face, when I do the uh the mask, I'll move into the other room. Uh, you, hi, Heather. How are you? We were just talking about that I look like a Smurf because of these stinking LED lights in the kitchen. But I'm going to move after I wash my face and put the mask on. But I didn't want to wash my face. You're washing your face now. Um, because... I wanted to show you guys what I was going to use to wash my face tonight. And it's the Lumine uh, Nordic Sea Cleansing Balm. And I think this came in a Target Beauty Box, maybe. So, will you get this wet for me? He's busy. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Kayla, what you been doing today? And Heather, what y'all been doing today? I've been trying to get ready for my collab with uh, Kayla tomorrow. It's supposed to go up and I had a big hiccup, a terrible one actually. So it, um, are you giving, like I need the whole thing like really wet. So I can take makeup off. Um, yeah, so my face is hurting because I had to do a whole week's worth. This is sneak peek here, behind the scenes stuff, y'all. Um, I had to do a whole week's worth of Eye makeup and lipstick get ready with, well, they're not really get ready with me. They're just looks for my collab with Kayla all today because I went to put my SD card in uh, the computer to edit it in Filmora and there was nothing. And I also had another video that was on there too. Have no idea what happened to it. Oh, that warm water actually feels good. My hubby's out of town, so cleaning and laundering and filming. Yeah, I try to film as many videos as I can on Monday, so that's my day off. Because I don't like to film on the weekend. We're just too busy. And then 
Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm at work. Yeah, Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I work. Hi, Robin, you got a mask ready? That's what we're doing. You asked for masking Mondays and you're getting them. Were you sick? Did I miss that? Oh my gosh, y'all, look. Look at my cat. Y'all see that? You can't get up there, you ding dong. That's real life stuff right there. Oh my God. That cat, he's crazy. I don't know why he's like that, but he's insane. Whew. Hi, Chris, how are you? I'm fixing to wash my face um, so that, what? What did you say? I'm fixing to wash my face so I can. Wash? Wash, wash, you said? wash. You said wash. <laughs> okay. This does, this has got some kind of, I need something to poke it with. Here, how about a pen? There we go. Been sick with a respiratory issues. Oh, that's awful. Okay, this stuff is weird. Look, it's like, here, let me move you over. I'll be glad when I can go back to doing lives. Turn that light on, Matt. On my phone. I hate that they took that away because lives are, are so much worse now. They're harder when you're trying to do stuff and you got to move around a laptop. He just wants to, he's nuts. That cat, I don't, he's like that all day long. This stuff feels weird. It doesn't lather up like a regular mask would, which is weird. Oh my gosh, my eyes hurt so bad from doing. Your mom always says wash. Yeah, he was laughing at me. You're, it's not just my cat that is like that. That's good to know. It's a southern thing. See, Pam even said it was a southern thing. All right, rinse that off for me. And bring it back. So you should be saying wash too. Wash is a northern thing. <laughs> Maddie's, yeah, rinse it off. Uh, Maddie says it's a northern thing. Tennessee whiskey. Like That's his say, name. Like they say rough up here instead of roof. Roof? They say rough up here. Uh, rough. Do y'all say roof, roof, or rough? 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 rough. rough. Like, a dog? like a dog? He says they say rough up here in Nebraska. Oh, my God. Well, I could put a milk. 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 I, I say milk. milk. Oh, milk. Um, hurry up. This is in my eyes. Um, I could put a, what is that thing? Um, a camera. Yeah. I could put the camera that's in our family room in and follow the cat around. And you'd get some good video. Roof, yeah, roof. <laughs> Maybe he's getting into the whiskey when we're not looking. Oh my gosh, we partied. Well, I didn't really party that hard because I had to work on Sunday, but my friends, they put away so many stinking booze, it was ridiculous. All right, so I think I have all that off. I just got to hang on. Huh? 
All right. So this is the mask I'm going to use. It is the Freeman Cosmic Holographic Peel-Off Mask. Hopefully it doesn't peel off my whole face. I'm pretty sure I got it at like five below or something like that for a dollar. So we'll see. Who else is doing a mask? It's purple. Can y'all see that? All right. See if I can actually get it on without getting it in my eyebrows like I normally do. Mmm, that smells good. APTO pomegranate one. Is that... I got have one of those, but it's it's mustard colored. This stuff is weird. Might have to cut it. Do you know where the scissors are? Ooh, that burns. Oh yeah, you're making soup. Uh, Tiffany is doing the cabbage soup diet. Again, I said I was going to do it after ugh, um, Valentine's Day when I ate so bad, but then I didn't. I hadn't done it yet. Oh, this stuff is weird and goopy. I hope it comes off my face. Yeah, it looks like mustard on your face. I think I have that one. We got in Boxy Charmer. No, it was Ipsy, I think, is where I got mine. Woo! <laughs> you can't really see. It's burning my cheeks, though. Probably because they're so dry. All right. Oh, man, I got a hair. That will hurt. Oh. Okay. I think that's everything. And just like it says not to put it in my eyebrows, I put it in my eyebrows. How long does this got to stay on? 10 to 15 minutes. So we're going to go and wash it. Let's see. Getting some better light here. It smells good. You know, one of my favorite brushes that I have came from Five Below. So hopefully this one will be okay. I use it every day over my other ones. Heather, are you doing makeup unboxings or filming or are you doing clothing? I did a trunk club today ghostly she says all right will you open that maddie the gate so i don't knock them around too much we'll come in here So this last trunk club that I ordered, um, I asked for like t-shirts and pretty much that was it. Like I wanted t-shirts. Um, they did send me a pair of snakeskin shoes. They're kind of cute, but they were, um, they were not comfortable. They were like a negative 10 in comfort level. They were awful. I still didn't get that off. You had your granddaughter for four days. Oh, that would be fun. I usually, I only have Waylon for like one night at a time. He still doesn't sleep all night, but it's okay. Uh, he, we had him. I think two Thursdays ago and um, 
he was so sweet but he was just starting like trying to crawl and then um i saw him this last weekend and he was crawling really good he was going from crawl like a crawling position to a sitting position which he hadn't been doing and then he can now pull himself up so like he started crawling and sitting and pulling himself up within a week he's so cute and he can he can say mama and austin was jealous so he taught him to say dada and he can say dada now he's so cute so he's doing really good i know he's just got he just turned eight months old And they're so precious. I know, Pam, she had her grandkids this weekend, too. Or this week. Yeah, and one thing about the trunk club, I don't know what the difference is. I don't know if any of y'all have the wit and wisdom absolution jeans. But, like, right now I have on just the regular wit and wisdom skinny jeans. And they fit me perfect. They're size 12. I tried to put on those Wit and Wisdom Absolution jeans. They did not fit. I could get them buttoned, but they were tight. So I don't know what the difference is, but I couldn't wear them. And I was really looking for a pair of, well, I bought a pair of white ones in my um, thread up box, but um so I don't really, I guess, need another pair of white ones, but she sent them. And I got a Stitch Picks today, or well, the other day, that I wasn't expecting either, and that one was really good. Do you have your video all edited and everything and ready to go, Kayla? Is my? It's not burning anymore. It was. So they kind of stretch out a little bit, maybe. Because like, like I said, I could get them buttoned, but I couldn't. They would not pass the sit test, I don't think. You're excited. I am, too. I'm really excited. My looks were probably better when I filmed them every day, but, um, it is what it is. Our little secret. Oh, it just right under my nose. I really hope this doesn't hurt. I don't know why I insist when I do mask with me's on Mondays to do the peel off kind that peel your face off and, I don't know. For y'all's enjoyment, I guess. Maybe I'll, when I get down to like, I don't know. When I'm in a 10, maybe I'll buy some more jeans. I don't really need any more. I'm just ready for spring and summer. I want spring and summer to come so bad. It's, it was 56 degrees here last weekend, and I think we're going to see a couple of days that are in the 50s. So that's warm to me because it's been like negative 20-something. You want spring too. Yep. I went and watching the clock, so I don't know how long this has been on my face. Oh, I would love 61-degree weather. We have been looking at those campers, trying to figure out which kind we want, whether we want. Does anybody besides Pam, because I know Pam has a holler. Do, do y'all have a, anybody else have a camper that can give me some insight into what I might want? Hi, Karen. How are you? 
we are trying really to to decide. We know we want it to sleep at least seven or eight because that would fit all of like the kids and everybody. But we're trying to decide if we need a bunk room or just the bunk beds in the living space, like in the corner. The guy that we were talking to, he had said um, that he's like, you know, really, you should just when you're trying to decide on a camper, you should really just think about yourself. He said, because your child will only be there a couple more years and then it's an outdoor kitchen. So that is one thing that is on our list. Um, we we kind of wrote some our wants and our what we felt were wants and felt like were needs. And I really want an outdoor kitchen. That was on the want. Um, but something else I really want is I don't want if I can help it. I don't want the door on the bedroom. I would rather have the extra door at the bathroom so that if you're muddy or you've been swimming in the lake or whatever, you can just go in and take a shower. Five to eight inches of snow. Oh my gosh, just keep it. I don't want any more snow. Yeah. And that's what we're thinking. Like it kind of we were trying to decide if the bunk room was on our need or want, but I can't remember. I think we Maddie went and looked at it with us a couple days or what day was it? Saturday. He didn't go with us on Friday. He went to another camping uh sale on um Friday. Army on Saturday, and he says bunk room. But then we said, too, one thing, if you get the bunk room, then um, you, like, I don't have to hear his games and whatever he's doing. Hi, Heather. How are you? Tell Barry that I am talking now. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Tell... Tell Mr. Pam. I I think it was on Marco Polo the other day. I said something about Mr. Pam. I think it was on Marco Polo, or it might have been just talking to Mike. Or I said Mr. Pam, and he was laughing. He said Mr. Pam. He said, "Do you call me Mr. Mike?" And I said, "No." Um. Well, we would just uh, want it to at least sleep eight to ten, or seven ten. I looked at one, it was called a Vibe, and it was really nice, but it didn't have the extra bedroom, it just had the master bedroom, but the kitchen and living space was so nice. Um, I think it was 38, 38 maybe, the ones we were looking at. what oh my phone what are you what are you doing my face is getting tight does anybody know how long I've had this thing on my face yes we are getting a new one we weren't sure we were going to look at a used one as well and um we decided to get go new because the person um, 842, so 742 my time. Okay, thank you. Um, the place that we're going to buy the camper from, they offer a lifetime as long as you have the camper warranty. So it covers as long as you get it maintenance every um every year pay the 160 or whatever they <clears throat> he he thought it was around 160 uh, then as long as you pay that maintenance fee every year and you get it looked at then they'll cover anything from a refrigerator breakdown to 
the air conditioner. So I've been looking at, I've been watching um, videos like, uh, yeah, people camping and what they do and uh, kind of trying to figure out what we're going to need. Like one thing that I didn't think about was rope lights. This one couple that, and I can't remember, my has got my phone or I would tell you the, web, the website, but um, or YouTube channel. When he's done with it, I'll tell you. Uh, but they were saying that they heard to put rope lights outside of the camper, just on the ground, because it keeps like bugs and rodents, like mice or whatever, um, away from your camper. Tam uh, Pam, do you do that? Do you put rope lights on the ground around your camper? No, we're buying a camper, Heather. Well, if you had, if you have any trouble with bugs or anything getting in your in your camper, then they say the rope lights will help. I think that oh, it's just a little bit wet right here on my cheeks. You trip over them. We've been wanting to buy one for quite a while. Um, we've been talking about it really for probably five years, maybe 10 years. Because every time, well, every time we go to New York, we say we're going to buy a camper the next time. Because then we could be like in our own space. And we could have like a bed and that kind of thing, like our own bed. No, not one that drives a bumper pool. Although we did look at some uh, fifth wheels. But the thing about the fifth wheel is Mike doesn't want to have to have the hitch, like taking up his um, truck bed. I mean, we can because we have a... a um, a uh, 250 or whatever it is. But we found some very bougie ones, that's for sure. <laughs> do you have camper or does your family have camper, Tiffany? How do you know so much about them? I love to camp. We used to tent camp. I don't know why we stopped. And tent camping even wouldn't be too bad here because it doesn't get real hot in the summer. Still a little bit wet. This up here is really dry. I don't know if it's going to come off, if it's going to peel off or not. Oh, yep. <laughs> Ooh. Owie. I always feel like um, when I'm taking off the peel-off mask, I feel like Robin Williams in Mrs. Doubtfire when he's, the, his mask is slight or his prosthetic or whatever he's got on his face is sliding off his face. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Owie, next to your, like, your eye hurts. Well, ow, it's pulling, that's for sure. Ewing. It's in my eyebrow, which I always do, and it always hurts. Owie. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's in there. I got it in there good, <laughs> even though it says not to. 
Maddie, bring me on a plate of that rag again and all of that stuff that's there beside beside you, all that skincare. Because we're gonna I'm gonna show you my skincare, what I use have been using at night. Oh my god. La, la, la. Like waxing, yeah. Can I get the stuff for tomorrow? It's forty five dollars what do we do? Just do do we buy the no, wood or the, what I have in my cart from March that you can go and get it on the way back to work? Oh, okay. And, and you get these two things. What did, you, what did she say? Can you wash your eyebrows? Off? Yeah, I can. What? And did you get those two things on Amazon for it? Round ceramic industrial. Okay. Magnets and then those locks. I think okay. caps. All right. Ooh -wee. All right, bring me a wet rag, but bring it on a ah. Matthew's gonna build me. Have y'all seen those? Um, the golly, um, shelves that they bend down and you can keep like your stuff in them. Like firearms and stuff. Maddie's gonna build one in shop class. <gasps> that was still kind of wet. Once in a while, you have a good idea. You have lots of good ideas. You're a smart girl. Okay. Why didn't you just bring me the one I was already using? I don't know where it was. I don't know. Eek. Owie. Try not to give you all the finger. Hi, Michelle. How are you? What? I don't know. We'll talk about it later. You didn't bring me the skincare stuff. I did. Part of it's still wet. Let's go over to this side. How are you, Michelle? Um, all that, all that stuff. That was hair. Owie. It doesn't come off very easy. I'm trying to find places. Some of it's just, it's too thin, I think. And I can't find where to get it off. Dog, you're okay. That was my eye. Did y'all see that? That pulled my eye. <laughs> ah! A horrible strawberry peel. Who is it made by? Tell me who it's made by so I don't have to use that one. Oh, it was as a teenager. Ooh. I was telling him, Heather, that it reminds me of the Mrs. Doubtfire when he's trying to take the thing off his face. And it's and it's sliding down. I love masks. They, oh, I don't know. They just make your face feel so good. It just doesn't feel good when it gets in your eyebrows. Which, like you said, I'll probably wash most of that off. Dog, you are not dying in there. He's pacing back and forth because Maddie left him in the kitchen. I mean, he can jump the gate. He does it all the time. Look. <laughs> oh. See, you, Connie, he wasn't gone forever. Let's see if we can see anything on here. 
I don't know. Hi, Jess, how are you? I'm going through pain for for beauty. Isn't that what they say? Pain is beauty. Beauty is pain. And cut curtains for the camper. Did you ever wash your mask off? <laughs> I bet so if I heard that bad. <laughs> If you remember it from when you were a teenager. Have y'all ever done the the original charcoal one? I haven't ever done that one, but I heard my friend did it. She said it was awful. Her and her daughter did it. Yeah, beauty is pain. Are you listening and working, Jess? I think I'm going to have to wash the rest off. My skin feels pretty good, though. See, Jess, for all your spread up needs, I know I'm not supposed to say that, but I plugged her anyways. Because <laughs> she's the best stylist ever. Although maybe I should stop using Jess. She sends me, look at my face, it's red. She sends me shoes and I have to buy them. I've had, what, four boxes now and there's never been a box that I haven't bought shoes. Ooh. He brought me a dish towel. But they are they are cute shoes. To give a thumbs up, you have to, I think you have to minimize it and then, I don't know. The girls will probably know. Handbags are your weakness. Yep, I got a handbag. Well, it's a tote bag in my um, thread, my thread up, in my trunk club today. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to keep it. Hannah cure mask? No. Is it a peel off or is it a wash off? I still feel like I have some. Let's see if I can turn my light on and just see. I do have it in my hair, though. What are you doing? What you getting mad over there about? Matt books are gone. Matt, book, Matt books. I bought a four pack, and after the first one, I'm afraid to do it again. Skin looked great afterwards, but damn, it must have hurt, huh? I'll have to look that up. Do what? They can't even send an email. An Apple computer can send an email? Okay. I got All right. So there's that one. I'm going to do some oil. I turned the light on my phone so you guys could see better. So I don't have to bring my light, my ring light in here. Something, it does burn a little. Woo. This is the glow serum. This is what I've been using from Allure. The oil feels good though. 
I am going to get, I want um, to get the Peter Thomas Roth Drench Moisturizer. Do you use that one? Is that one of the ones you use, Kayla? I want that one. But I was going to get it from Sephora, and they didn't have any, like, specials going on where I would get something free. It, it was. So I'm going to buy it from, I was going to buy it from Ulta because I had Ulta points. Rub that oil on the back of my hands. I'd always heard to rub whatever you put on your face on the back of your hands. So, but I'm going to buy that Peter Thomas Roth. I got a different one. It's a wrinkle turbo booster from the Peter Thomas Roth. And I don't think I like it. Something broke out my face. It was either that or there was something else I used. This is Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Cream. I use this all the time, every night. And I use a lot. Whoop, move that over there. Um, hey Maddie, will you do me a favor? He said he would get it in a minute, but it's on. Um, I'll show you. He'll go up in the bat to the bathroom, and then this is that one one eleven. Is that what it's called? One eleven skin, the cryo activating hydro gel. This stuff feels really good. Do they run a pretty good sale on them? Yeah, the I really like this, the 111. I don't remember what we got it in, but it felt really good too. I know Kayla loves the um Peter Thomas Roth. Y'all tell me what you're using right now for skincare. What is your favorite? Laneige. I use that Laneige. Is it Laneige? The lip sleeping mask? It's really good. Yes, you do. That is the one thing that I do not skimp on is my skincare. All right. I'm all glowy now. So, yeah, I want to know what y'all's favorite is. I'm still here. I haven't gone anywhere. Maddie, what are you doing? What are you doing? Your face looks yellow from that mask, I guess. Maybe. Turn my light off. I had to get serious about my skincare more like I started more when I moved here because it's so darn windy and I mean it just cuts through you and my face hurt so bad that I just I had I had to do something so I told Mike I was like I, I gotta get something for skincare so I bought this night the uh, estee lauder stuff it's the night repairs i and then it was a serum too but i used all the serum yeah 
You didn't get that? Yes, you should try it. I don't know how much it cost. Let's just see. Uh, let's see. One, one, one. Cryo. Activating skin. Let's see. From dirt. Well, let's see. You can get it on Amazon, Heather, for $57.98. You won't be able to see it's too bright. Oops. But that's what it looks like, and it's $57.98. I thought it was actually going to be more than that. But that's not, I mean, for good skincare. The um, Peter Thomas Roth is like, what, 60 bucks? The Murad, that's what all, uh, Matthew is using right now because his face breaks out. And uh, I got him the whole Murad set. And I think it's doing pretty good. But I don't think he uses it every day. If I do not wash my face, like sometimes I'm so tired when I get home that I just don't feel like it. And um, I just skimp on it. And then in the morning, my face, it just feels goopy and gross if I don't wash it. But I've been using that magic, is it magic? Makeup, makeup eraser for a while and it feels really good. Yeah, it's, yep, the hydrogel. Cryo activating hydrogel. It might be backwards where you can't see it. But Kayla, do you have a trouble with your, your lid going back on? I never, my lid, ever since I opened it the first time, does not go on straight. Like, I have tried every single way to get this thing back on, and... It just doesn't go back on straight. Yeah. Cryo hydrogel. Cryo activating hydrogel. I don't know. Maybe mine's defective then or something. <coughs> Are you going to go up there and get that box for me real quick? I'm <clears throat> Hang on just a second. I'll be right back. Don't leave. That's all the time I have. All right, I'm back. Sorry, I know that's bad etiquette to leave, but I've seen people leave and not come back for a long time. Is that what? Tap thing stuck in the top. Oh. That thing? <laughs> All right, Mama Pam, there you go. Y'all wish Pam a happy birthday. Tomorrow's her birthday. I won't tell her age, but it is her birthday. All right. So, Kayla, this is what I found. Actually, Mike found it for me at TJ Maxx. 
and it has these wipes, the unwrinkled peel pads. So it has these, I'll show you what they look like. They just look like little, new, like those Noxzema pads. They kind of look like that. That's what they remind me of. Um, so these are the peel pads. And then it has this in it. Tell me if you've used any of this stuff. This is the Line Soothing Toning Lotion. This. Is this it? Which? This is it? The toning lotion? This is the face serum. Unwrinkle Turbo Face Serum is this one. And then it came with an Unwrinkle Night Cream. So if this is what you're looking for, um, send me. Um, yeah, right here. I found it at TJ Maxx. And it's supposed to cure the wrinkles from 360 degrees. Attack deep wrinkles and ex um, expression lines. Have you um, seen... Have you, do you think it helps? Like, have you seen a difference in using this? I found it, well, Mike found it for 20 bucks. That's how much it was. I don't know. Wonder if it's like they just don't make it anymore, you think? I don't know why. I looked at TJ Maxx to see if I could find some more and they didn't they didn't have it. Let's see. Peter Thomas Ross. Ah, I can't spell. And what's it called? Unwrinkle. Unwrinkle. Turbo. This says Macy's has this whole kit for $88. And then it says, let me click on it. Good night, Chris. Thanks for coming. Hey, girls, go to Walgreens.com. This says Peter Thomas Roth Unwrinkled Turbo Line Soothing Toning Lotion, 38 bucks. It says not sold in so stores, but I'm on the Walgreens website. So see if you can find it on Walgreens. That'd be cool if y'all could find it. Let me know 
see if you find it. But yeah, thirty-eight dollars. Cat or the dog is going crazy. He's like pacing back and forth. That's probably, I mean, that's not bad. And it's for the 19 ml. Ooh, it's half the size of this one. That's crazy. No, no, I lied. No, it's not. I don't know how big it is. It's probably the same. Good night, Kenzie. Is her spelling test tonight or tomorrow? Kenzie has a spelling test coming up. She was studying for. So if it's tonight or tomorrow, I hope you do good on your spelling test. <laughs> She's the cutest. Uh, Heather, how many do you have all girls? Just the one girl? How many kids do you have? Because they're all grown except for your dogs, right? Oh, it's Friday. Yay, I need to make soup, but I haven't done it yet. I don't have any room in my fridge right now for soup because we went to Sam's Club. <clears throat> and when we go to Sam's Club, it takes up half your fridge. Okay, you have a son that's 28, a stepdaughter that's 23, and your daughter's uh, 22. And a seven-year-old granddaughter. Oh. Yeah, all grown but her dogs. I know she's got dogs there. They're so cute, too. <laughs> my son, my oldest, will turn 21 next month on the 31st of March. Are they really good dogs? Like, they're good companions. Yukon, stop. You were just outside. You can wait. My dog is a Weimariner, and he's a big baby. I am. Well, yeah, yeah. I love the quotations. First drink. Mm -hmm. Yep, we're going to go. He lives in Tennessee. So we're going to go to Tennessee the second or third weekend in April and we're gonna I wanted to be there for his <laughs> the weekend like right before his birthday is when I originally planned on going and then my husband was like Miranda we can't go the last weekend of the month and I was like why not and he said because that's before Alex's birthday and he can't he can't go to the bar before he turns 21 so I was like ah you're right. So we had to change it. Crazy, smart, and loving. Well, my dog, he just paces all the time. And we have all hardwood floors. So it's just, you just hear that on the floor constantly. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I wasn't using my brain on that one. Stick all that stuff back in there. My dog is 13. 13 years old. Yukon. Yukon is his name. What are you doing? Do you want to come in? Is that why you're upset? Now he'll freak out. Come here. We took him to the dog park on Saturday, and he had such a good time. Look, Yukon, come here. Yukon, come over here where Heather can see you. Come. 
Yukon, come here. Look, there he is. Nope, you can't eat the cat food. There he is. Say hello. <laughs> he thinks he's a lap dog. And he is too smart for his own good. <laughs> but he loves to go to the dog park. Except there was this. He did real. They he did really good, and there was a bunch of other dogs there. But then this, I don't know what it was. I think it was some kind of lab. But he came, and my friend said she felt really bad for all the other dogs because that dog did not get along with any other dogs at the dog park. They like, he was just, I don't know. His vibe was bad or something because they all wanted nothing to do with him. They were barking at him and actually he wouldn't leave any of our dogs alone. He kept sniffing their butts. <laughs> and um, so we all started to leave because he just was not getting along. Hi, Sarah. How are you? I haven't talked to Sarah in a while. I'm a bad friend. Unless you're at my work or on Marco Polo. I know. I'm bad. Yeah. I just wonder when we're camping. We took him tent camping once. It was awful. It was so bad because his claws on the bottom of the tent, it just made noise. We finally, I think my husband gave up his pillow so he would lay on his pillow and quit pacing. Yes, Marco Polo is awesome and it's a great way to talk. Like it's, I don't know why it's so much, I feel like it's faster just to get on there and leave like a little video message. But it's probably the devil because it takes up all our time. I know, I do too. Too old to tent camp. Yeah, I mean, my back, I couldn't tent camp now probably. My back would not do it. Do you have a camper, Heather? I don't know if you were talking to your husband when I was asking the others if they had a, a camper. Because we're trying to figure out what kind we want to buy. How's your weather, Sarah? Are y'all having warmer weather? What is it a fifth wheel RV or one that you can drive or is it a bumper pool one? Like, what kind is it? My face, it feels so good. It actually feels kind of crazy. I think I still have a beast on there, though. Yeah, I do. I think everybody here probably watches Heather's videos. Heather has good videos. Okay, the kind you drive and then you pull your Jeep, your Jeep behind up. Traveling house. I'm not ready for one you can drive. Although, like I was saying earlier, we were looking at fifth wheels. We said if we were gonna put it on land yet we might buy a fifth wheel and live in it while we built our next house that's good um i think everybody's ready for better better warmer weather i'm tired of having the winter blues Y'all, I have such a mess in my living room. It's awful. It's so bad. I'll show you. Turn on some lights here. Alexa, turn on the playroom light. Okay. Alexa, turn on the living room light. Okay. 
Now look at this mess. Isn't it ridiculous? Look. Because <laughs> that's where I film my videos, right there. Right there. It's so messy. There's Kitty Cat. Where's Jenny June? She's probably in bed, but there's the cat laying on my blanket. We don't get a ton of rain. I just hope that this time it doesn't snow big. Last time, was it last year? We had a big snow, and then we had a bunch of rain, and everything flooded, and it was awful. <clears throat> Mainly, it's box like it's just boxes from where I've unboxed my trunk club and um, my stuff, and then like I can't stand for my pillows to be all out of whack. And they're all out of whack over there, so I have to fix them. Lay down. Lay down. Or you have to go to bed. Get up there. Lay down. Don't knock my computer off. <sighs> I guess I better go before I do so I still have some energy to clean up this mess. I am going to start going live every Monday at 7.30 uh, Central Time. So that's 8.30 um, Eastern Time. It is a second job to put it away. Well, it'd be like a third job to me because I work a full-time job outside the house. <laughs> Tiffany, are you going live tomorrow night? Yes, that is my goal. A regular schedule on Monday nights. I need to get... Yukon, lay down. Lay down. I need to... Um, sorry, I'm moving, y'all. Um, I need to get my watch hours up. I don't have enough watch hours... And I'm over 800 now when I looked, which it's bugging me because YouTube Studio says that I have 805, I think. And YouTube only says I have 802. So I like the YouTube Studio number better. But it's just annoying because I like to see the difference on um, Social Blade, and it doesn't show the one that's on the studio. So then the future predictions aren't right. Thank you, Sarah. Yay, everybody go watch Tiffany tomorrow. I always forget what time. I think it's 8.30 or something. Something like that. With wine and QVC. But thank you for helping me tonight and watching my live. Oh, 9 Eastern. Okay, 9 Eastern time. Sounds good. And... I will see you guys next Monday. I have all kinds of videos coming out this week. So stay tuned. Hopefully my one is going up here in a minute. I have to check on it. It's in the editing process of Filmora 9. Well, I'm glad that you were here. Thanks, Heather, for watching. Bye.